Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to powder paint jewelry, also known as powder coating. And I got these four colors from Gugu's Boutique. Araceli is the owner and she sent me these four different colors, some findings and some S-hooks. But today I decided that I wanted to salvage these old school earrings. So I started by removing the findings and with 100% acetone I wiped down my pieces. I added the S-hooks. By the way, thank you Araceli for these awesome S-hooks that she actually makes. Preheat our oven at 350 for about 10 minutes or so and put your pieces in there to get nice and hot. While we're waiting for that, we need to stir the powder to get air into it. And you have to do this before you use it and after you use it. So now it's been about 10 minutes, take out your piece and dip it into the powder. Place back into the oven for about 10 minutes. A little PSA, the oven that you do use for crafting, make sure you do not use it for food after you've been doing these type of projects just to make sure that everyone is safe. After it's been curing for about 10 minutes or baking for 10 minutes, this is the result you will get. Isn't that beautiful? I love this so much. So now you know that you can salvage beautiful old school earrings into this beautiful colorful look i added the findings and that's it the only thing i would do different is i would be careful when dipping the earring or any piece not to get into the s hook because it did get stuck so that's a little tidbit for you but uh being that this was my first time i think i did great for the second piece i used silver vein i started out by stirring in air into the powder and just make sure they use a different stirring stick for each color just to make sure that the colors stay true then once my piece was nice and hot i dipped it into the powder i let it cure for 10 minutes and for this piece i decided to double dip just to make sure i get this dripping look that araceli mentioned in her video i stirred the powder again and then i dipped the pendant back in you can see that there's a little tail on the side and I placed it back into the oven for 10 minutes and this was the result isn't this amazing oh my god I love this so much look at that color I added a wire bail all I did was take some 24 gauge wire about four inches folded it in half made a loop and with the two remaining tails I wrapped it around the base about three to four times And then I added a second bale just to give it more flair. And it's the same procedure as the first wire bale. I decided I wanted to add some coils to give it more dimension, to give it more texture. I took some 24 gauge wire, looped one of the ends, held it with some pliers and worked around the initial loop to make a coil. Before we tuck in the tail of the coil, make sure it's not sharp by using a burr tool or sandpaper to sand down the tip so it's not sharp. And once you are done with that, fold in the little tail into the coil to incorporate it. I gave the coils a black wash and I adhered the coils onto the top of the pendant. I will leave the link below to the glue and glaze that I used. I will also leave Araceli's info in the info box below.
Once I was done setting all my coils down, I laid a nice a thick a layer of glue on top just to keep everything in place. Set it to the side to dry and that's it. Look at how beautiful this pendant is. If you want to see more pictures, follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe. And there you have it girls and boys. Look how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh, I love this and it's so hard and the color is so vibrant. I'm addicted to this new thing, powder paint. Thank you, Araceli. I will leave her link below so that you guys can get all the beautiful colors that she offers and you get to know her as well so that you can see all the beautiful creations she has. Thank you, bye.